Hey guys, thanks for watch watching with me. Today I'm gonna talk about my Invicta 19872 model. This is part of the Angel Collection. It's a series of watches for ladies, which are pretty big. This is a 40 millimeter. And it's, I like it because it's blingy. I think it looks really good with a dress shirt. Or, you know, if you wanna be fancy or blingy that day. It looks pretty cool. This is one of those collections where I was like, wow, I want that one too. I have a few of these. I have this Platinum Blue, which is the 72 model. There's also a 73 model, which has a bit more uh, of a darker blue tint to the Mother of Pearl. It's not as uh, what I would call shiny or that platinum look that this one has. And then there's also a black Mother of Pearl, which is beautiful. I wore that one to my daughter's wedding. It looked really nice with my dress shirt and everything. Um, it's a neat looking watch. Um, now, they don't really have a name for this watch within the Angel collection. I would call it a Pro Diver because they do make this same case minus the diamond bezel insert. And they call those Pro Divers. And some of those pro divers are within the Angel collection, so they're kind of all intertwined. But this collection, like I say, it just has this really neat look. It's fancy, it's blingy, not way over the top because the size is large enough to where it's showy, but not too small where it becomes maybe a little understated or a little too understated. Uh, the Bavay setting on the bezel there. I wouldn't want to call them diamonds, but they're they described as crystals. Uh, they're nice, clean, tight, well-fitting, really, really good. As you can see, it has a screw down case back. It is on a pressed clasp, but for watches that are priced around a hundred bucks, I think that's a really good value. So what's on the inside of this watch case? So inside we have a Ronda Caliber 515 Quartz Movement with the date, and you can see it there at three o'clock. It even has a little Cyclops. Uh, alignment on the Cyclops is pretty decent, not perfect, but really good, I would say. On a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a seven because the magnification is good and you can see it pretty well. Now, the reason I say it's good, but not perfect is because you still have to kind of focus on the window there a little bit. I think the magnification could have been a little bit better. When judging a Cyclops, there's two things that you want to look at. Number one, is it aligned so you can see the number when you're looking at it at a natural angle? And number two, if the number is visible, is it large enough? Is the magnification of that Cyclops strong enough? In this case, I think it could have been a little bit stronger, but you can see the number at a natural angle when you're wearing the watch on your wrist. Now the bracelet on this, are they're using solid links. Like just about every single Invicta, Invicta always uses solid links. This one does have a press clasp, which I don't know what the big deal is about a press clasp. Some people prefer the milled ones. I think they both work really good. Some people say the press ones are a little more comfortable. I guess it's, it's all personal preference on that, but by the way, if you've been watching this far in, thank you so much. Uh, please, I found out that 90, over 90% actually, of my viewers are not subscribed. Hey, if you could subscribe, it would make a gigantic difference in my channel. It would really elevate it, help me buy more watches, and keep me in business. So if you have a moment, just squish the like button and hit the subscribe. And then don't forget that little bell icon thing. You know, click it so you can get news of my videos you know that the algorithm is always looking for something new it's the algorithm won't always be focused on what you've already subscribed to or liked in the past it's always looking for something new to pique your interest so please remember to hit the bell icon it'll keep me on your radar so let's get back to the uh, angel here in summary if you're looking for a really cool watch with a little bling 40 millimeters, screw down crown, screw down case back. Uh, really well put together watch. 
you have over 12 different models to choose from in this configuration. There are so many variations of these watches. If you're ever bored, check out the Invictus store and look into the other collections. Uh, a lot of these, they're labeled for ladies or a couple are, but they're really not. The watches are pretty big. I mean, a lot of these are 40, even 38 millimeter. A lot of men wear 38. It fits better. And really, it all comes down to what you like, how blingy you like your watches to be and what have you. Uh, like I said, these I think look really, really pretty. Uh, it's kind of like color therapy. Uh, you look at the dial and it looks beautiful, it makes you happy. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and comment. I'll see you guys later, bye.